this is huge right here. This is huge. This is what I've been thinking, what I've been saying. Because like when you think about all the Diddy parties, just, just award shows, interactions, all that, man. Uh, we're back on the Art of Dialogue channel. And it says, Gene Dill backs 50 cent claim that rappers are silent on Diddy due to fear of being recorded on tape. Meaning that either he has stuff on them already, whether it's them doing stuff with, you know, when you think about these rappers who be like claiming to be all tough and hard, even uh, Inspector Deck from Wu-Tang said it, you walk in those doors and you see people, some of your favorite rappers in there and doing stuff that you're like, whoa, hey, we're going to check this out, though. I'll leave the link to the original in the description so you guys can check out more and even subscribe. We ain't going to waste no more time. Let's jump right into it. Wow. Yeah, I ain't know that, man. But how you feel about Miami Beach taking Diddy Day away? Bruh. Diddy Day? Just like New York, just like Mount Vernon, New York City, Mount Vernon, and Miami, all that is the same, bruh. Every, nobody wants to be near him. Nobody wants to touch what he touched, be where he at. You understand? It, it, it's crazy, bro. There, I seen a video. I don't know that how old it is, but I think it was fairly new. Diddy was somewhere and he had people around him. So again, man, that money. You know, you think about people who might be on that payroll. They gonna stay close to him because they don't want to use that. They don't want to lose that lifestyle. You know how. His fall from grace, which was never uh, uh, from grace. It's just like the devil just kicked him out of hell. Mm. Mm. Because you can't, he was never in nothing graceful and did anything graceful. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what you say about, okay, he did the music, he did, he had the bad boy, bad boy legacy and everything like that, man. But, you know. A few albums, a few people, you know, made to be famous. But they not here to tell their story. Oh. Black Rob, Biggie, Craig Mack. They not here to tell their story, bro. Tupac. And now you got everybody telling his story. That's yeah, and I know 50, he did a recent interview with U.S. Weekly saying that the reason why rappers are quiet about, you know, Diddy's situation is because they've been to his parties and they don't know what got caught on tape. Bruh, those people who was caught at Diddy party did not know that he had 250 tape recorders. And you got to remember, man, you, you're going to these parties and you're just like wilding out, having fun. They say, again, we go back to that Denzel quote where he said, you got to leave the party before the devil shows up. You know, it's been plenty of parties, right? And some people can never know that this stuff existed because they, they left before things got wild. They said, after a certain time, you don't want to be here. If you're not about that life, get up out of here. So when you when they talk about freak offs and stuff, I mean, just use your imagination, man. You know, celebrities with celebrities, you know, again, not knowing that you're being recorded and you're just just man, the evidence. Whoo. In that house. That's a big house. But he had 250 tape recorders in that house that they took, that the feds found. Mm. So now with them finding all that and you being at a Diddy party, you know 
you may have done something that was caught on one of those tapes. You just better pray to God that they don't recognize you. Hey. <laughs> those people who know that they did something, no, they're not going to speak out. They're not going to say nothing. What part of the game is that? They are not going to come forward and tell on themselves. Yeah. No, nah, not at all. Ice Cube, he said it himself. I was watching this this reality show called, I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, but it's called Too Hot to Handle. And basically, they take all these singles, girls and guys, put them in this luxurious, like, villa in some other country. And it's, like, amazing. The views are great. And they get there. They meet each other. And basically, the people are sent there because some of their families say they need to slow down. They're just too wild. They always party and always sleeping with people. Girls and guys. So they have like this lava lamp looking thing and they're there partying, kissing, having fun. Then this lava thing basically tells them that you can, at the end of the show, or, or basically this thing tells them from now on for the remainder time, remaining time, there will be no kissing, no sex, no self-pleasure of any kind. And if you guys can do this at the end of the show, you can win. A, a, one person will go up, win $100,000. So all they have to do is not do nothing. And there's cameras everywhere. And of course, these people end up doing stuff and it's caught on camera. And then they, what they do is they get everybody together. And they tell them like somebody broke the rules. I'm I'm saying this because a lot of times a lot of them won't come forward and say I was the one who did this, even though it's caught on tape. But then it end up get it end up getting revealed, and then they say what you did from this a hundred thousand dollars, you guys have lost six thousand dollars or something. So I'm just saying like. There's cameras there on that show and people still act wild and do stuff, but they don't want to admit it because they thought that it wouldn't get revealed. I'm sorry. I just had to bring that up. If you know and you watch the show, you know what I mean. Bro. He said that Diddy's been targeted because of what he said about those folks and those people. Now, the people who was on those tapes may feel like Diddy might be targeting them. Because mm. if he's asked about who is this, who is that, and he's under oath with the federal government, he got to tell them. Mm-hmm. He's not going to plead the fifth. Yeah, I know that got to be a terrible feeling, man. You know, you know you did something wrong at Diddy Party, and you hoping and praying that it's not caught on tape. Just wait. But they don't think they did nothing wrong. That's their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. That's their lifestyle, bro. I ask guys all the time, if two men lay down, how many homos get up? What you mean? I mean what I mean. It's what it is. And again, it's not even about like two men being with two men or two women being with two women. It's not really not about that. It's the those those people in the industry that act like they're all these tough people and they would never do this or never do that. And then it'd be caught on tape. Like I said, when when Inspector Decknam said they was at that mansion party and they opened that door, they was like, don't be curious. They opened that door and they seen one of your favorite rappers. And then they come out of that room trying to like see how you are. Are you cool with it? Yeah. So 
it's interesting because if Diddy somehow, some way, don't go to jail, you already know, I said before, he's probably going to throw this whole big old not guilty party and all the people that he going to look and see how many people spoke out against him and they can't come to the party, you know, or they going to be blackballed or, you know, he going to use whatever pool he has to make sure they don't probably make another dollar. So again, it's a lot of stuff to consider here. Uh, but I don't know how much longer it's going to take. But yeah. I feel like a lot of people are on those tapes. The fans are probably watching them like, oh my goodness. <laughs> they got what's the name is in here? Yeah. Hey, appreciate y'all coming over and watching, man. Peace out.